to every purpose under the sun. Everything has a season. Everything has a purpose. Sometimes it looks kind of bleak to us sometimes, but that's why I like to go and remember the scripture says how that he knows the end from the beginning. Amen. He's the one that knows the end. Whatever starts in your life, whatever gets started, whatever it may be, the Lord knows the end of that beginning. We don't, but he does. Amen. That's why we have to be satisfied with whatever God does in our life. Sometimes we want everything to go right, don't we? Amen. But then Job came along and said, man that is born of a woman, it is a few days and full of trouble. Amen. So don't get discouraged when trouble comes. Just say, Lord, oh Lord, you know. Is that right? And then the scripture says, let the weak say that I am strong. The God said, what come? Who go? Who come? Just look to the Lord. Because he see and know it all things. What that 17 verse say? I said in my heart, what? God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. God I said in my to every to every time, everything is a time, a season, and a purpose. Under the heaven. Under the heaven. Is that right? But I say it in my heart. You God. got to understand, God will do what? God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. It don't matter who it is. Amen. God will judge everybody. Amen. And God for what you do, whether it's good, bad, God will judge us. Amen. We don't see judgment now, but it's a day coming Amen. that we will appear before the Lord. Amen. Oh, what a day it shall be. Sometimes in our own minds and our thoughts, we can't even fathom. We can't even see that. Amen. You couldn't even see yourself where you are now, but here you are. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Here we are. On earth, walking around, seeing people, seeing the moon, the sun, the rain, the snow. Is that right? Amen. But it's a day coming. That he says, What, Rick? I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. But there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. In Genesis 18, 25. It's a time for every purpose and every work. All this is in the hand of the Lord. Is that right? We thank God for this time and this purpose. That's in our life. We have a chance to rectify, make things right. Ask God to help us. Is that right? Ask God to lead us and guide us. Do what's right in his sight. Amen. What he says over Genesis. Genesis 18 and verse 25. Uh-huh. That be far from thee to do after this man. Uh-huh. To slay the righteous Sl with the wicked. Slay the righteous with the wicked. And that the righteous should be as the wicked. The righteous should be as the wicked. That be far from thee. That be far. It's, it, it, it's a total difference. Yes, it is, sir. Righteous and the wicked. And it says God will judge. Everybody, but it's a difference in the righteous and the wicked. Amen. When we strive to do what God said, we want to be righteous people, right? Yes, sir. That's our purpose. We want to live righteous. We want to do what's right. Whatever it is in the sight of God that's right, that's what, that's what the people of God are supposed to be doing. Striving for. May not be up to everything, but you got to get there. Amen, sir. Is that right? Amen. May not be able to get to the top of the ladder. But you guys, as the scripture says Sunday, strive to end in what? At the street, street gate. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. There'll be a few that strive, but they ain't gonna be able to make it. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. You know, it's like those little turtles, mm -hmm. those big old sea turtles. They, the mother come in, lay all the eggs on the beach, and then after a while, they start hatching out. Mm -hmm. They don't all make it back to the sea. Mm -hmm. They're heading that way, yes. but they don't all make it. Is that right? Amen. Everybody is going to go to heaven. Amen. Is that right? But it's things out there to devour. It's things out there to stop people. Is that right? Amen. And that's what the enemy want to do with us. We strive. We're doing all we can. And we got to even do more than what we think. Is that right? But the enemy, remember, he's out there. The scripture says he's as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. He want to devour the people of God Everywhere, no matter where they are. Amen. Whatever, any way he can devour the people of God and stop them, that's his job. And that's what he's going to do. Amen. What is that? Should not the judge of all the earth do right? Should not the judge of where? All the earth do right. God's going to do right now. Amen. 
Amen. Whether or not we do right, God's going to do right. How often God going to do right? All the time. He's always right. Is that right? He's always right. Never wrong. We get wrong, but God is never wrong. If they want to why God allowed things down, he's still right. Amen. Whatever, he's right in everything he do. Everything. Amen. You know, people look at people and try to find fault. You can't find no fault in God. Amen. You can't point at nothing and find a fault in God. You can point at us. We can point at each other. Is that right? Amen. But God said, judge yourself. Amen. You don't even look at judge each other. You just know what's right and what's wrong. But God is right in everything. Amen. What did he say? Now the Lord said, the Lord said, if, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city. Well, if you have to talk about Sodom and go mine because of the wickedness that was in the land. Amen. You know, if I can find, it's, it's wickedness all around us. Yes. It just, it just, it's sick wickedness. Amen. You know, that's why we have to pray for each other. But remember to pray. You know, pray. There's wickedness everywhere. Even the devil is trying to infiltrate the church and try to bring division even among the people of God. And he's doing all that stuff. Amen. He's doing it all. That's why don't let nobody change your mind from serving the Lord. Amen. Doing what God said doing was right. But people out there, they're doing it. Amen, sir. The enemy, don't let the enemy work in your mind. Amen. Let's try to do what God said. What does the Lord say? Amen. What he said, Rick? The Lord said, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city. If I find 50 righteous in the city. Then I will spare all the place for their sake. Well, here yeah, Abraham was talking to God. You know? yes. Lord, you know, don't, don't destroy the city. Amen. Don't destroy the city. But God, remember, what he said, God is right in everything he do. Amen. God knew he wasn't going to find but what he found. Amen. But he gave Abraham a chance to, to, to plead and to beg and to ask him. But he, for the people, exactly. Amen. For the people. Amen. Sometimes you got people praying for people. You got a preacher praying for people they don't realize it, and they still want to try to break it down. Yes. But that's 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 the way life is. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You just make sure you do what's right. Is that right? Amen. Do what's right in the sight of the Lord. What he said? And Abraham answered and said, Abraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord which am but dust and ashes. Ooh, you hear what he's saying? I've taken upon me. To speak to the Lord. See, you know, we, got to, we got to come to God in reverence and in honor. Because yes. really, we ain't nothing. Yes. Really, we ain't, we ain't nothing. Really, in a sense, we are not even worthy of coming before the Lord. Yes. Amen. But God has made it possible through his son, Jesus Christ, that we can come before him. Yes. We can pray to him. We can request unto yes. him things. Yes. But really, and honestly, we ain't worthy. Yes. Yes. We know. Listen to Abraham. What did Abraham say? Behold now. Behold now. I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. I have taken upon me to speak to the Lord. Which am but dust what, and ashes. What am I? What are we? Yes. We listen to me. Yes. I don't care where you are, who you are, what you think you got. Everybody. Amen. I don't care how much money you got, how poor you may be. You're nothing but dust and ashes. Amen. Don't thank you so much. I don't care who it is. Amen. Man can exalt himself and thank you so much. I know how we are as women. We look up to a man that got a lot of money, got 10 houses and 30 cars, and all this kind of stuff. You know, you know, because remember, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Is that right? God allowed man to have things, but in the sight of God, nothing but this. One scripture say, all man is, is as the dust of the balance. Do you know that? You see how powerful God is? Yeah. And see how nothing we are? Amen. So man can't thank you so much. Amen. I don't care what man it is. Yes. Amen. No matter president, man, I don't care who it is. Amen. All right? He got one breath too. Amen. Dust of the balance. Ain't that something? Amen. When you start understanding what you are, yes, is that right? And reverence God for who he is, Amen. then things go better. Is that right? What is that? Preadventure there shall like five of the fifty righteous. Go back and read that verse again, Rick. And Abraham answered and said, What he said? Behold now, 
I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. I've taken on me to speak to the Lord. Which am but dust and ashes. You hear that? Which am but dust and ashes. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Dust just something white. Ashes just get blown away. <clears throat> what are we? That's why the brothers and sisters always give God praise. Always give him honor. Always pray to him. Always give him thanks. Yes, Lord. Is that right? Because we ain't nothing but dust and ashes. Man. Right, people think they, you know how people do. Don't, don't, don't people think they so much. Mm -hmm. But when you understand what when you understand what man really is, man. then you can give all praise to God. Man. You understand what you may not have money this man got. Man. You may not have the fame somebody else got. But I don't care how much fame you got, how much money he or she got. Man. You ain't but dust and ashes. Man. Is that right? If you flesh, you are. Man. You dust and ashes. Man. In the sight of God. Read the book. For adventure there shall light fire of the fifty righteous, will thou destroy all the city for the light of fire? Uh huh. And he, and he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. Well, if I find forty-five, I ain't gonna destroy it. And he spake unto him yet again and uh -huh. said, What is it? For, for adventure there shall be forty found found there. And he said. I would not do it for 46. Well, you let him know he was going to destroy it. He was going to destroy the city. But Abraham coming, pleading, yes, pleading. Lord, if I can Because he, he knew who was over there. Amen. He knew who was over there. Yeah. He knew Lot was over there. Yes. He knew that. Because him and Lot had separated themselves. And he said, hey, Lot, don't let no strife come between me and thee. Let us separate. We don't want to separate and, and have a, a, a all. You know, sometimes people separate and they let come in. Amen. You got people look out there, go different ways, and they look like they ain't never knew each other. Amen. That's not good. No, sir. Do it, they do it in peace. Amen. Is that right? Because Jesus said, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Amen. Is that right? You find people do that all over the world. They, they, they've been saying Jesus, hallelujah, praising God together, and they become enemies. How is that? Amen. The scripture says, Does not we all have one father? Have not one God created us? Is that right? But that's what happens. Amen. You know that? They ain't up with the devil. The ain't up with the enemy. Amen. Is that right? I just like my children that were born, came from me, born of my wife, then they grew up and then they become enemies. Amen. You got to come out the same room, got the same seed planted. And now you're hating each other. Amen. That don't sound good, does it? No, sir. No, that don't, that don't sound good. Y'all brothers and sisters. Here we are, the people of God that have been born of the Spirit, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, striving to live for God, and then here we become enemies. Amen. You know it ain't with the devil. Yeah. That's all it is. Yes. So if people understand that, they'll see things better. Let's get back over in, in, uh, in uh, Ecclesiastes. To every purpose, to everything is a time, season, and a time for every purpose under the sun, under the heaven. A time to what? Okay. Yeah, let's continue. Yeah. Go ahead. 17. Yeah, go ahead. 17. Yeah, read. And I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. Uh huh. But there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. It's a time for every purpose and, and for every, work. every work. Is that all right? That's good, isn't it? Yes, sir. I said in my heart, uh -huh. concerning the estate of the sons of men. I said in my heart, concerning the estate of the son of men. That God might manifest them, and that they might, and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. <laughs> you really say? I hope they can see, I hope they can see, hope you can see what you really are. Amen. Hope you can see what you are. When we look at this, what are we? We ain't nothing. Basically, ain't nothing. And without Without God, yes. I would be nothing. Amen. It doesn't matter who you are. Without God, you ain't be nothing. So don't think you're so big. Amen. But you got some money and all this. Is that right? Amen. Amen. So what are we? Nothing. Amen. All right, let's bounce back over, Rick. We move, we move around a little bit. We're going to bounce back over where we were. I know we was over at 16 or 17, but let's get back over to the third chapter. 
Mm -hmm. So everything there is a season and a time for yeah. every purpose. Every purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A time to be born. Yes. And a time to die. Is a time for that reap. A time to plant. Yes. And a time to pluck up that which is planted. Yes. A time to kill. A time to kill. And a time to heal. It's a time for everything. We in time. Everything. Everything consists now of what? Time. Time. Is that right? Everything. It doesn't matter what you do. Probably throughout the day or throughout our life, it's, it's, it's evident. We always concerned about time. Amen. Amen. I got to make sure I get up in time. I got to get there. In time. We're in time. Amen. So God is giving us time to rectify, to correct things in this life. Because once we leave here, we are set for eternity. What you mean you set for eternity? But God, we have time. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, when you start something in life, when you're doing things, the best thing to do is be on, be on time. Start on time. Because you never know what's going to come in between. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Always start on time. Sometimes this time of year, you see people running red lights, running because they're late. They're running late. Oh, that, I don't like to get to work early. Get there on time. Get there when you can drive, just slow and take your time. Amen. Because everything deals with what? Amen. Before we go to bed, I need to be concerned about. Amen. It's true, isn't it? It's evident. What is that? Amen. A time to kill. Time to kill. And a time to heal. Time to heal. A time to break down. Time to break down. And a time to build up. Yes, sir. A time to weep. Yes. And a time to laugh. Yes. A time to mourn. Uh huh. And a time to dance. Yes. A time to cast away stones. Mm -hmm. And a time to gather stones together. Yes, sir. A time to embrace. Time to embrace. And a time to refrain from embrace. Read the book. A time to get. Yes. And a time to lose. Mm -hmm. A time to keep. Time to get. Time to lose. And a time to cast away. Time to cast away. A time to rent. So you see, everything is time. It's, it's time to okay, you know, it's, it's, it's certain things, time out for that. Amen. Is that right? It's time out for people to, to stop acting sometimes. It, it, it come a time you got to just put away stuff. Amen. Can't keep holding on to that. It's a time. Okay. Now it's the season's over. Time up. Amen. Different time. Different time now. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You know, you know, I was thinking today, I said, you know, certain things in life when you were younger. At this time in your life, it don't amount to nothing. It it, it, it just it seem it just seem irrelevant. It just don't even make sense. You know you don't even think about things the way you used to. Yeah. Different time. Different time. Different time in your life. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So that's where it is. Time. Certain thing you do now, later on in life, it ain't gonna amount to nothing. Mm -hmm. Time will be the wrong about change. Yeah. Read the book. A time to rend and a time to sow. Uh -huh. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Yes. A time to love. See, that's beautiful, lady. Uh -huh. Just got to know the time. Right. Sometimes we feel, I just want to say something. It's a time for everything. Uh -huh. Sometimes you can know what to say, have something to say, but you keep your mouth shut. Uh -huh. It's a time for everything. Uh -huh. Lord, help me to know the right time. Uh -huh. Read. A time to love and a time to hate. Mm -hmm. A time of war mm -hmm. and a time of peace. Yes. Now listen to what it says now. What profit hath he that worketh in all, in that wherein he labored? What profit hath that he that worketh in all his labor? Read. I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. Uh huh. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he hath set the world. In their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. You know, Deuteronomy 29, 29, read that real briefly. Don't no man know the things that God do. Sometimes we sit down and wonder. That's why I try to put in my mind, Lord know everything. Don't get yourself frustrated. Don't get yourself worried about certain things. Because God know it all. We just hear it. Say, Lord, you know. You, you know, Lord. Sometimes we try to understand why this, why that. Don't worry yourself with certain things because you, you can't figure it out. If you knew, you wouldn't ask why. You say, Lord, you know. Help us, Lord. Help me. What do you say? What, what do you know what 29, 29 say? 
The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. But I remember he just read, he has made everything beautiful in his time. All, also he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the works of God made from the beginning of the, to the end. And what did he say over there in Deuteronomy? Amen. The secret thing belongs unto the, the Lord. The secret thing belongs unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed those things, unto us and to our children, how long? Yeah. that we may do all the work, all the words of the law. The secret thing. It's things we are not going to know. Yeah. It's things you're not going to find out. Why? Because the secret things belong to God. Some things that you, you can't figure out. We worry ourselves trying to figure out certain things. Don't. Amen. We sit up at night wondering, trying to figure out why he did this, why he did that, what could happen. God knows. And Lord, you know. I don't know. Lord, no, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Lord, you know. Help me to understand that what I'm thinking about if it's your will. Because I don't know. Is that right? All right, what is that, Rick? And he that hath made everything beautiful in this time, yes. also he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. All right, real quick, go to Genesis 131 and then Romans 1133. Genesis 131. Let's see what it says real quick. Amen. We thank God for you. Everybody all right? Amen. All right, we thank God for you. Amen. So we thank God for the kids. May God bless all your kids in school. God keep you. We ain't gonna hold you long. I know some of you gotta start your first day tomorrow. Some of you gotta go back again. So we just thank God for you. Your, your time and your patience. Just keep looking to the Lord. Always put God ahead. What he said, Rick? Genesis 1 and verse 31. What it said? And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. And you know what he said? So that no man can find out the works of God made from the beginning. To the end. God made, God made everything, didn't he? Amen. Very good. And he said everything was what? Very good. Good and very good. Everything God did was very good. Amen. That's why we don't have to add nothing, take away. Everything you see God made, something you just wonder about, it's very extraordinary, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But God still made it. Yes, he did, yes, sir. My son just asked if yeah. God, you know, he made the devil, he can Otherwise, if he made the devil, mm -hmm. why he got to give the devil so much power that so many that he gathered so many people? Well, so, well, why did he make the devil? Why did he make the devil? Why did he make the devil? If he if he know he can stop the devil, I thought, but he do know, but you know, uh, he, he let people choose. Uh, so he was there. I don't understand why he would just make it bad, you know, because we know he. Was well, bad. he didn't make it bad. That everything he made was good and very good. Well, you know, doing that. Part. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, if you look at that, sometimes people ask questions like that, they wonder why does God do what he do mm -hmm. and the way he do it. He's God, he's able to do that. The devil got a rebellious spirit in him and that's why he is the way he is now. And it's up to man now to turn away from that because God has sent his son, Jesus, to save man from his sin. So it's up to man to turn. The right. man have a chance to be saved, but he had to turn away from the things that he do and the things he enjoy mm -hmm. to turn to the Lord God. Yes. Man got a way out yeah, if he want to do what God say. Yeah. But he got to want to do what God say in order to get out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like you. the key is over here. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is go toward the key and then the door will be unlocked. Yeah. But that's what man, when I remember once we were in there, we were talking about the devil and the Lord and I was telling somebody how that the devil is out there doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, well, why? Why, why he got why he got to have that problem? I think because God did it. Yeah. God, it's God that do it. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So we just thank God that He He's one. God knows, but we have a way out. That's right. We can have a chance, you know. Mm -hmm. But you got to, as the Scripture teaches, man got to repent. That's right. Man want to do what he want to do. So I'm just God just let us do what we gonna do. But no, you got to turn from your ways. All right, let's continue, Rick. Yeah, Romans 11.33. What is that? 
All the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Depth and riches and the wisdom of God. Oh, how? What is that? Amen. Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Yes. How unsearchable are the judgment and his ways past finding out. How unsearchable are his judgment. And his ways. And his ways. Past finding out. Yeah, God leads you. You can't even understand God leading you. That's why David said, son, God is too wonderful for me. I cannot attain to it. God's knowledge is so great, it makes man wonder. Right. God's knowledge is so great that man say, I don't believe you certain things. God's knowledge is so great, isn't it? Amen. I mean, I mean, that's why in Deuteronomy you say that how that the secret thing belongs to God. Amen. The secret thing belongs to God. Amen. It's certain things that we're not going to know. I'm reminded of when I, John was alive with Patmos and how it thundered. And John was about to write because he understood what the thunders said. But God told him to close the book. Don't write no more. So it's things that John heard that we didn't hear, that John understood, we didn't understand. But God told him to close the book. Stop writing. So one thing about the Lord is there are things past finding out. All that we got to do is believe what is written, strive to do what he said, and pray, and God will reveal Amen. things. He will reveal. He's a revealer. Yes, well, right? have known the mind of the Lord. Who? Ha who? 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 Had known the mind of the Lord. You know what? When we read the scriptures, we get some of his mind. We get some of his mind. He's sharing with us what's in him. Amen. And we apply it ourselves so we can be more like him. In every aspect of our life. That's why I can't understand how people say that they got God, they can't get along. People say they got God and they, they marry each other. Somebody, something is wrong. But when God opened the book, the, the book of instruction. All right, where you at, Rick? Let's hit 34 and 35. Let's bounce back over. Try to shut it down. Amen. Who, have, who have first given him, oh, verse 34, but who have known the mind of the Lord? Who know the mind of the Lord? Or who have been his counsel? Who has been, who's been his counsel? Or who have first given to him? Who had first given to him? And it shall be recompensed who, unto him again. Uh, who done gave to God? The earth belongs to the Lord. Amen. We can't give nothing to him without ourselves. Right. And everything we give, we get it from him. Well, of him and through him. Of him, through him. And to him. And to him. Are all things to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Yes, Read that again. Amen. For of him. Of him. And through him. Through him. And to him. And to him. Are all things to, to are all are things. All things. Are all things. Amen. To him be glory. To him be glory. Forever. Amen. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he hath sent the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the works of God made from the beginning.